Hi, this is Brian from TechBargains.com. Today we're looking at the Amazon App Store for Android. Amazon launched their own App Store for Android devices and they make several improvements over Google's App Market. You can interact with the store both on your mobile device and on the PC over at Amazon.com and it's a full-on App Store intended to be your one-stop shop for all your Android shopping needs. The Android App Store is a free app that you need to load it on your device following some simple steps over at Amazon and every day there's a different paid app for free to kind of keep you back every day and the price are usually cheaper than they are on Google's market but can it replace Google's market completely? Some of the pros of this app are that it has delayed installs um, if you buy something and then you want to wait for a later time to finish your install and you can do that so you don't have to slow down your internet on your phone. One of the big pros is the free paid app. Every single day there is a different paid app for free and today you'll see that it is 180 Ultra, um, which appears to be a game. Um, one of the pros is that it doesn't have all the apps, and I know you're thinking, how can that be a pro? But the, Am the Google market being completely open, sometimes some things get through that aren't so great, and some are just straight out malware. Amazon has some stricter requirements, which kind of heightens the review process to take those apps out of the picture. Um, another pro is Amazon's reviews, and if you do any shopping at Amazon at all, um, you'll s it'll be very, very familiar to you um, using their five-star rating. Um, and you can see that today's app has some, kind of some mixed reviews. Um, some of the cons for this app is that the initial install can be um, kind of tricky. Um, Amazon does a good job of giving a how-to video, but for those that aren't as uh, tech-savvy, can be a little bit difficult. Um, also the top apps are a bit skewed um, because of the top paid app um, or the free paid app every day. You'll see that the top paid nearly all of these were free at one time and same with the recommendations. If I go over to the recommended for me nearly all of these apps uh, were at one time offered for free for the day. Another con is that you have to update the app through Amazon. A notification doesn't pop up when there is a new version of your apps. And then lastly, it doesn't have all the apps. And I know I said earlier that that was a pro. Uh, the downside to this is that some apps you want just don't exist on the market. Um, all in all, Amazon's App Store is a welcome addition to Google's stock market. But at this point, it is not a full-on replacement. The omission of some apps, which can cut down on the clutter, does create that situation where an app you want just isn't available. And once that recommendation engine is fixed, to kind of take those free paid apps out of the picture would be a lot closer to what we would expect from Amazon. Uh, right now we rated a 4 out of 5. If you like this review and want to see some more of them, please be sure to visit our page on YouTube at youtube.com slash techbargains and be sure to sign up for email updates so anytime a new review comes out, you are the first to see it. Uh, thanks a bunch.